Well, let's set the lane assignments for you. Lane number one at the very top of your screen is Lawrence North, then Chesterton, Munster, Carmel, Center Grove, Homestead, Fishers, and Columbus North outside of Carmel. Who do we look for here? Well, we look for there's the leadoff leg. This early speed's going to come from Center Grove, and it's going to come from Munster. They both have very two good leadoff backstrokers. Allie Day's been one of those athletes that has been at the national level at 14, made an Olympic trial cut in the 200 backstroke. But there's a little young girl, a little freshman from Carmel right now, who's got the er has the earliest speed in this meet, and she's going to be leading off for that Carmel relay, who already holds the national record from last year at 141.68. Now, if I remember right, Michelle McKeon, when she was here a couple of years ago, was a senior among a lot of underclassmen at Center Grove, and uh, it appears as though those young ladies have, have, have grown up quite nicely in that program. They have, and I, I tell you, Jim Todd does an amazing job, and he, Michelle was one of those unique individuals who her leadership, you know, transcend her period of time there. In other words, her leadership helped develop the younger swimmers that are in the water now for Center Grove, and they are the elite of the elite in Indiana swimming. Cobea will start off for Fort Wayne Snyder, Little for Concord, then Roberts, Katz, Meehan, Conrad, Mudd, and Carroll. And we're underway. Championship of the girls 200 yard medley relay. Now it looks like Lacey Locke got caught underwater a little bit, but you notice her stroke tempo. Very good stroke tempo early out. Very good strong underwater work. She uses her entire body, but Allie Day is keeping close. And that early speed coming over there from Munster as well. That's Brittany. She's doing very well over there on that side of the pool. Two, three, and four, pretty tight. Now here's an interesting matchup right here. Lauren Stouter, who was second place in the breaststroke last year, is racing Emma Schottmer from Center Grove, who is the top seed in the 100 breaststroke today. So they're kind of early matching each other up to see how they're going to feel each other out here. Lauren looks like she's got a great stroke working for her today. Schottmer a little bit higher in the tempo, but efficiency from Stouter. Slow relay exchange by Center Grove, fast relay exchange by Carmel. Notice the distance by Trish Regan, almost 15 meters underwater, and look how she widened the gap. Trish Regan off the wall, very strong. She's already got two body length lead, and again, 12 meters underwater. If you're watching it on the, on the, on the uh, live video, that's a pretty amazing accomplishment right there. Nice lead for Carmel as the anchor Carly Marshall hits the pool. Well, they've got a shot at it. 141.68 is the national record, which was set by Carmel. They've got a pretty good shot at it. They're going to have to come home with under a 23-second 50 freestyle on the anchor leg here. Center Grove fighting for second place here in the relay, but Munster's pulling up. 141.96 just missed the national record. Munster grabs second. Center Grove is third. Fourth goes to Chesterton. Fifth goes to Hamilton Southeastern. Lawrence North is sixth, Columbus North is in seventh, and Fishers is eighth. Welcome back to the Natatorium on the campus of IUPUI in downtown Indianapolis, and uh, the winners are headed toward the victory podiums as we speak. And uh, getting their championship medals. Of course, first place going to Carmel. Second place was Munster. Center Grove was third. Chesterton fourth. Hamilton Southeastern uh, was... Uh, or check that, Homestead was fifth. Uh, in sixth was Lawrence North. Seventh was Columbus North. And eighth, Fishers. The 200 medley relay has always been uh, kind of a coach's calling card for the emotional start to the meet. And I think that emotion is going gonna, is gonna to pull Carmel's individual events. Let's kind of watch what happens over the next two events with the Carmel athletes. They have so many individuals in the 200 freestyle and the 200 IM. We're going to kind of see if that 200 medley relay is going to give them that drive to either get out and really dominate this meet or some of the other athletes from Chesterton and some of the other top seeds are going to break out. Yeah, we had initially mentioned that a, a relay was uh, to come. We said that right before the break when, in fact, uh, next up will be the 200-yard freestyle. And in the finals of that, Carmel with, uh, with three swimmers, Zionsville with a couple, McCutcheon, Northridge, uh, they'll all be represented. You know, the interesting thing about this 200 freestyle yesterday, the state record is held by an Olympian. That's Lindsey Benko. 
uh, what a great representative of Indiana swimming. She now works for United States swimming. And that record's, that's, that's a tough record to, to break, but one of, some of these girls here have the opportunity, at least have the talent to get close. And the, the times, the top time that we have right now is 150.39. And it would be interesting to see how many of these girls can break through and go under that 150 barrier. What we've seen in this meet is a kind of a new era, a new area, era of what's fast in Indiana swimming. In other words, for an example, 150 used to be a, a top time to win the event. Now, 150, you almost have to go that fast to get into top eight. So the coaches and the athletes have set the standards so much higher now that the athletes are responding. This may make a difference. If you look at this meet over a three-year period of time with last year and this year, our time standards are based off an average of three years of an individual event, top uh, 34, 32nd place. And if the times get consistently faster, consistently faster, then it's going to be tougher to get into this meet, not just to, not just to score. Well, the age uh, in which they begin, uh, I, I, th I think, might be uh, somewhat of a contributing factor in, in, in seeing the times go up each and every year. Uh, I, I believe a, a number I saw the other day, uh, you know, Carmel's Youth League basketball program and baseball program uh, will, uh, will provide an opportunity for somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,000 kids, uh, which is certainly impressive. Uh, but you look at the swim club for the little ones, and, and they have over 1,500. So that, that gives you an idea of exactly, you know, not only how early they start, uh, but, but, but how big uh, that, that swimming has gotten. And, and, and no, no disrespect to, to, to Center Grove or, or any of the outstanding teams that we have throughout the state. Uh, simple fact of the matter is uh, kids almost from the moment of conception, if, if they live in the Carmel area on the north side of Indianapolis, they swim. I always joke with the coaches or, or the parents. I said that you got to really focus on planned parenthood on when you want to have your kids age up to the next age, age group in swimming. So make sure that you plan it out properly. Okay, your winners standing by poolside with Matt Taylor. Matt. Hey, thanks very much, Mark. We are joined now by the 200-yard medley relay team, the Carmel Greyhounds. Guys, congratulations. Six of the last nine years, you guys, Carmel, has been able to bring home the crown and a great start, to, a great way to start off the meet. How does it feel to uh, bring home and continue that tradition? It feels amazing. Like, I mean, when I was younger, I'm a freshman, but I thought it would be really amazing to be able to, like, carry on the tradition and stuff and it's been a lot of fun so far and I'm just great ready to see what the meet will bring. So. Well, every relay team needs an outstanding anchor and, and Carly Marshall I, I know that the uh, the national time wasn't a great concern for you but you needed to bring home the win and that's what you did. Just go through your focus there at the end of the race when you have such a big lead. Um, well my focus was just to get the hand on the wall that's what I've been training I mean it was just a hard season to train and I was just out there having fun and that's all I wanted to do. Several of you guys have events coming up later in the meet, so we won't keep you long. Congratulations. Thank you.